In mathematics, spectral theory is an inclusive term for theories extending the eigenvector and eigenvalue theory of a single square matrix to a much broader theory of the structure of operators in a variety of mathematical spaces. It is a result of studies of linear algebra and the solutions of systems of linear equations and their generalizations. The theory is connected to that of analytic functions because the spectral properties of an operator are related to analytic functions of the spectral parameter. Topic: Mathematical background. The name spectral theory was introduced by David Hilbert in his original formulation of Hilbert space theory, which was cast in terms of quadratic forms in infinitely many variables. The original spectral theorem was therefore conceived as a version of the theorem on principal axes of an ellipsoid, in an infinite dimensional setting. The later discovery in quantum mechanics that spectral theory could explain features of atomic spectra was therefore fortuitous. Hilbert himself was surprised by the unexpected application of this theory, noting that I developed my theory of infinitely many variables from purely mathematical interests, and even called it spectral analysis without any presentiment that it would later find application to the actual spectrum of physics. There have been three main ways to formulate spectral theory, all of which retain their usefulness. After Hilbert's initial formulation, the later development of abstract Hilbert space and the spectral theory of a single normal operator on it did very much go in parallel with the requirements of physics, particularly in the hands of von Neumann. The further theory built on this to include Banach algebras, which can be given abstractly. This development leads to the Gelfand representation, which covers the commutative case, and further into non-commutative harmonic analysis. The difference can be seen in making the connection with Fourier analysis. The Fourier transform on the real line is in one sense the spectral theory of differentiation qua differential operator. But for that to cover the phenomena one has already to deal with generalized eigenfunctions for example, by means of a rigged Hilbert space. On the other hand it is simple to construct a group algebra, the spectrum of which captures the Fourier transform's basic properties, and this is carried out by means of Pontryagin duality. One can also study the spectral properties of operators on Banach spaces. For example, compact operators on Banach spaces have many spectral properties similar to that of matrices. <laughs> Physical background The background in the physics of vibrations has been explained in this way. The mathematical theory is not dependent on such physical ideas on a technical level, but there are examples of mutual influence see for example Mark Kack's question Can you hear the shape of a drum? Hilbert's adoption of the term spectrum has been attributed to an 1897 paper of Wilhelm Werdinger on Hill Differential Equation by Jean Dudonnet, and it was taken up by his students during the first decade of the 20th century, among them Erhard Schmidt and Hermann Weyl. The conceptual basis for Hilbert space was developed from Hilbert's ideas by Erhard Schmidt and Frigeis Ries. It was almost 20 years later, when quantum mechanics was formulated in terms of the Schrödinger equation, that the connection was made to atomic spectra. A connection with the mathematical physics of vibration had been suspected before, as remarked by Henri Poincaré, but rejected for simple quantitative reasons, absent an explanation of the Balmer series. 
the later discovery in quantum mechanics that spectral theory could explain features of atomic spectra was therefore fortuitous, rather than being an object of Hilbert's spectral theory. A definition of spectrum Consider a bounded linear transformation T defined everywhere over a general Banach space. We form the transformation R zeta equals zeta I minus T minus one Displaystyle R underscore zeta equals left zeta I T right carrot minus one. Here I is the identity operator and zeta is a complex number. The inverse of an operator T, that is T minus one, is defined by T T minus one equals T minus one T equals I display style T T carrot minus one equals T carrot minus one T equals I. If the inverse exists, T is called regular. If it does not exist, T is called singular. With these definitions, the resolvent set of T is the set of all complex numbers Z such that R Z exists and is bounded. This set often is denoted as Rho T. The spectrum of T is the set of all complex numbers Z such that R Z fails to exist or is unbounded. Often the spectrum of T is denoted by sigma T. The function R zeta for all zeta in rho T, that is, wherever R zeta exists as a bounded operator, is called the resolvent of T. The spectrum of T is therefore the complement of the resolvent set of T in the complex plane. Every eigenvalue of T belongs to sigma T, but sigma T may contain non-eigenvalues. This definition applies to a Banach space, but of course other types of space exist as well. For example, topological vector spaces include Banach spaces, but can be more general. On the other hand, Banach spaces include Hilbert spaces, and it is these spaces that find the greatest application and the richest theoretical results. With suitable restrictions, much can be said about the structure of the spectra of transformations in a Hilbert space. In particular, for self-adjoint operators, the spectrum lies on the real line and in general, is a spectral combination of a point spectrum of discrete eigenvalues and a continuous spectrum. <laughs> <laughs> spectral theory briefly In functional analysis and linear algebra the spectral theorem establishes conditions under which an operator can be expressed in simple form as a sum of simpler operators. As a full rigorous presentation is not appropriate for this article, we take an approach that avoids much of the rigor and satisfaction of a formal treatment with the aim of being more comprehensible to a non-specialist. This topic is easiest to describe by introducing the bra ket notation of Dirac for operators. As an example, a very particular linear operator L might be written as a dyadic product L, L equals K 1 B 1 Display style L equals K underscore one wrangle Langle B underscore one in terms of the bra B one and the ket K one. A function F is described by a ket as F 
the function f x defined on the coordinates x 1 x 2 x 3 Display style x underscore one x underscore two x underscore three dots is denoted as f x equals x f display style f x equals Langle x f wrangle and the magnitude of f by f Two equals F F equals F X X F D X equals F X F X D X display style f caret two equals Langle f f wrangle equals int Langle f x wrangle Langle x f wrangle d x equals int f caret asterisk x f x d x, where the notation asterisk denotes a complex conjugate. This inner product choice defines a very specific inner product space, restricting the generality of the arguments that follow. The effect of L upon a function f is then described as L f equals k 1 b 1 f Display style L F wrangle equals K underscore one wrangle Langle B underscore one F wrangle expressing the result that the effect of L on F is to produce a new function K one Display style K underscore one wrangle multiplied by the inner product represented by B one F Displacedyle Langle B underscore one F wrangle. A more general linear operator L might be expressed as L equals Lambda one E one F one Plus Lambda two E two F two plus Lambda three E three F three plus Display style L equals Lambda underscore one E underscore one Wrangle Langle F underscore one plus Lambda underscore two E underscore two Wrangle Langle F underscore two plus Lambda underscore three E underscore three Wrangle Langle F underscore three plus dots where the Lambda I Display style lambda underscore i are scalars and the e i display style e underscore i wrangle are a basis of n d the f i display style langle f underscore i a reciprocal basis for the space. The relation between the basis and the reciprocal basis is described, in part, by f i e j equals delta i j 
Display style Langle F underscore I E underscore J Wrangle equals Delta underscore I J If such a formalism applies, the Lambda I Display style Lambda underscore I are eigenvalues of L and the functions E I Display style E underscore I wrangle are eigenfunctions of L. The eigenvalues are in the spectrum of L. Some natural questions are: Under what circumstances does this formalism work? And for what operators L are expansions in series of other operators like this possible? Can any function f be expressed in terms of the eigenfunctions? Are they a Schouder basis? And under what circumstances does a point spectrum or a continuous spectrum arise? How do the formalisms for infinite dimensional spaces and finite dimensional spaces differ, or do they differ? Can these ideas be extended to a broader class of spaces? Answering such questions is the realm of spectral theory and requires considerable background in functional analysis and matrix algebra. Topic: Resolution of the identity. This section continues in the rough and ready manner of the above section using the bra-ket notation and glossing over the many important details of a rigorous treatment. A rigorous mathematical treatment may be found in various references. In particular, the dimension n of the space will be finite. Using the bra ket notation of the above section, the identity operator may be written as I equals I equals one N E I F I Display style I equals sum underscore I equals one carrot N E underscore I wrangle Langle F underscore I where it is supposed as above that E I Display style E underscore I wrangle are a basis and the F I Display style Langle F underscore I a reciprocal basis for the space satisfying the relation F I E J equals Delta I J Display style Langle F underscore I E underscore J Wrangle equals Delta underscore I J This expression of the identity operation is called a representation or a resolution of the identity. This formal representation satisfies the basic property of the identity I K equals I Display style i caret k equals i valid for every positive integer k. Applying the resolution of the identity to any function in the space psi display style psi wrangle one obtains i psi equals psi equals I equals one N E I F I Psi equals I equals one N C I E I 
Display style i psi wrangle equals psi wrangle equals sum underscore i equals one carrot n e underscore i wrangle langle f underscore i psi wrangle equals sum underscore i equals one carrot n c underscore i e underscore i wrangle which is the generalized Fourier expansion of psi in terms of the basis functions a. Here, c i equals f i psi. Display style c underscore i equals langle f underscore i psi wrangle. Given some operator equation of the form o psi equals h display style o psi wrangle equals h wrangle with h in the space this equation can be solved in the above basis through the formal manipulations o psi equals i equals 1 n C I O E I equals I equals one N E I F I H Display style o psi wrangle equals sum underscore i equals one caret n c underscore i left o e underscore i wrangle right equals sum underscore i equals one caret n e underscore i wrangle langle f underscore i h wrangle f j o psi equals I equals one N C I F J O E I equals I equals one N F J E I F I H equals F J H J Display style Langle F underscore J O psi wrangle equals sum underscore I equals one carrot N C underscore I Langle F underscore J O E underscore I wrangle equals sum underscore I equals one carrot N Langle F underscore J E underscore I wrangle Langle F underscore I H wrangle equals Langle F underscore J H wrangle quad for all J, which converts the operator equation to a matrix equation determining the unknown coefficients C J in terms of the generalized Fourier coefficients F J H display style Langle E F underscore J H wrangle of H and the matrix elements O J I equals F J O E I Displaced tile O underscore G equals Langle F underscore J O E underscore I wrangle of the operator O 
The role of spectral theory arises in establishing the nature and existence of the basis and the reciprocal basis. In particular, the basis might consist of the eigenfunctions of some linear operator L L, L E I equals lambda I E I display style L E underscore I wrangle equals lambda underscore I E underscore I wrangle with the lambda I the eigenvalues of L from the spectrum of L. Then the resolution of the identity above provides the dyad expansion of L L, L I equals L equals I equals 1 N L E I F I equals I equals one N Lambda I E I F I Display style L I equals L equals sum underscore I equals one carrot N L E underscore I wrangle Langle F underscore I equals sum underscore I equals one carrot N lambda underscore I E underscore I wrangle Langle F underscore I Topic Resolvent operator Using spectral theory, the resolvent operator R R equals lambda I minus L minus one displaystyle R equals lambda I L caret minus one can be evaluated in terms of the eigenfunctions and eigenvalues of L, and the Green's function corresponding to L can be found. Applying R to some arbitrary function in the space, say phi display style var phi R phi equals lambda i minus L minus 1 Phi equals I equals 1 n 1 lambda minus lambda I e I F I Phi Display style R, var phi wrangle equals Lambda I L, carrot, minus one, var phi wrangle equals sum underscore I equals one, carrot N F R A C one Lambda Lambda underscore I E underscore I wrangle Langle F underscore I var phi wrangle this function has poles in the complex lambda plane at each eigenvalue of L. Thus, using the calculus of residues 1 2 pi i c r phi d lambda equals minus I equals one N E I F I Phi equals minus Phi 
Display style FRAC one two Pi I oint underscore C R Varfi Wrangle D Lambda equals sum underscore I equals one carrot N E underscore I Wrangle Langle F underscore I Varfi Wrangle equals Varfi Wrangle where the line integral is over a contour C that includes all the eigenvalues of L. Suppose our functions are defined over some coordinates x j that is x phi equals phi x 1 x 2 Display style Langle x var phi wrangle equals var phi x underscore one x underscore two. Introducing the notation x y equals delta x minus y. Display style Langle x y wrangle equals delta x y, where delta x minus y equals delta x one minus y one, x two minus y two, x three minus y three, is the Dirac delta function. We can write x phi equals x y y phi d y display style langle x var phi wrangle equals int langle x y wrangle langle y var phi wrangle die then x 1 2 Pi I C Phi Lambda I minus L D Lambda equals one two Pi I C D Lambda x phi lambda i minus l equals one two pi i c d lambda d y x y lambda i minus l y phi display style begin aligned left langle x frac one two pi i oint underscore c frac var phi lambda i l d lambda right wrangle and equals frac one two pi i oint underscore c d lambda left Langle x frac var phi lambda i l right wrangle and equals frac one two pi i oint underscore c d lambda int die left langle x frac y lambda i l right wrangle langle y var phi wrangle end aligned the function g x y lambda defined by g x y lambda equals x y lambda i minus l equals i equals 1 n j equals 1 n X E I F I E J Lambda I minus L F J Y equals I 
equals 1 n x e i f i y lambda minus lambda i equals i equals 1 n e i x f i y lambda minus Lambda I display style begin aligned G X Y Lambda and equals left Langle X FRAC Y Lambda I L right Wrangle and equals sum underscore I equals one carrot N sum underscore J equals one carrot N Langle X E underscore I wrangle left Langle F underscore I FRAC E underscore J Lambda Lambda I L right wrangle Langle F underscore J Y wrangle and equals sum underscore I equals one carrot N F R A C Langle X E underscore I wrangle Langle F underscore I Y wrangle Lambda Lambda underscore I and equals sum underscore I equals one carrot N F R A C E underscore I X F underscore I I carrot asterisk y lambda lambda underscore i end aligned is called the Green's function for operator L and satisfies one two pi i c g x y lambda d lambda equals minus i equals one n x e i f i y equals minus x y equals minus delta x minus y display style frac one 2 pi i oint underscore c g x y lambda d lambda equals sum underscore i equals 1 caret n langle x e underscore i wrangle langle f underscore i y wrangle equals langle x y wrangle equals delta x y topic Operator equations Consider the operator equation O minus Lambda I Psi equals H Display style O Lambda I Psi wrangle equals H wrangle in terms of coordinates x o minus lambda i y y psi d y equals h x Display style int langle x o lambda i y wrangle langle y psi wrangle die equals h x. A particular case is lambda equals zero. The Green's function of the previous section is y g lambda z equals Y O minus Lambda I minus one Z equals G Y Z Lambda Display style Langle Y, G Lambda, Z Wrangle equals left Langle Y, O Lambda I, carrot minus one, Z right Wrangle equals G, Y, Z Lambda and satisfies X O 
minus lambda i y y g lambda z d y equals x o minus lambda i y y o minus lambda i minus 1 z d y equals x z equals delta x minus z Display style int langle x o lambda i y wrangle langle y g lambda z wrangle die equals int langle x o lambda i y wrangle left langle y o lambda i carrot minus one z right wrangle die equals langle x z wrangle equals delta x z Using this Green's function property, x o minus lambda i y g y z lambda d y equals delta x minus z display style int langle x o lambda i y wrangle g y z lambda die equals delta x z then multiplying both sides of this equation by h z and integrating d z h Z D Y X O minus Lambda I Y G Y Z Lambda equals D Y X O minus Lambda I Y D Z H Z G Y Z Lambda equals H X display style int d z h z int die langle x o lambda i y wrangle g y z lambda equals int die langle x o lambda i y wrangle int d z h z g y z lambda equals h x, which suggests the solution is psi x equals h z g x z lambda d z display style psi x equals int h z g x z lambda d z that is, the function psi x satisfying the operator equation is found if we can find the spectrum of O, and construct G, for example by using G x z lambda equals i equals 
1 n e i x f i z lambda minus lambda i Display style g x z lambda equals sum underscore i equals one caret n frac e underscore i x f underscore i caret asterisk z lambda lambda underscore i. There are many other ways to find g, of course. See the articles on Green's functions and on Fredholm integral equations. It must be kept in mind that the above mathematics is purely formal, and a rigorous treatment involves some pretty sophisticated mathematics, including a good background knowledge of functional analysis, Hilbert spaces, distributions and so forth. Consult these articles and the references for more detail. Spectral theorem and Rayleigh quotient Optimization problems may be the most useful examples about the combinatorial significance of the eigenvalues and eigenvectors in symmetric matrices, especially for the Rayleigh quotient with respect to a matrix M. Theorem let M be a symmetric matrix and let X be the non-zero vector that maximizes the Rayleigh quotient with respect to M then, X is an eigenvector of M with eigenvalue equal to the Rayleigh quotient. Moreover, this eigenvalue is the largest eigenvalue of M Proof assume the spectral theorem. Let the eigenvalues of M be lambda. 1 lambda 2 lambda n display style lambda underscore 1 leq lambda underscore 2 leq c d o t s leq lambda underscore n since the v i display style v underscore i Form an orthonormal basis. Any vector x can be expressed in this basis as x equals i v i t x v i. Display style x equals sum underscore i v underscore i caret t x v underscore i. The way to prove this formula is pretty easy, namely v j t i v i t x v i display style v underscore j caret t sum underscore i v underscore i caret t x v underscore i equals i v i t x v j T V I Display style equals sum underscore I V underscore I carrot T x V underscore J carrot T V underscore I equals V J T x V J T V J display style equals V underscore J carrot T X V underscore J carrot T V underscore J equals V J T 
x display style equals v underscore j caret t x evaluate the rayleigh quotient with respect to x x t m x display style x caret t m x equals i v i t x v i t m j v j t x v j Display style equals sum underscore i v underscore i carrot t x v underscore i carrot t m sum underscore j v underscore j carrot t x v underscore j equals i v i t x v I T J V J T X V J Lambda J Display style equals sum underscore I V underscore I carrot T X V underscore I Carrot T sum underscore J V underscore J carrot T X V underscore J Lambda underscore J equals I J V I T X V I T V J T X V J Lambda J Display style equals sum underscore I J V underscore I carrot T X V underscore I carrot T V underscore J carrot T X V underscore J Lambda underscore J equals J V J T X V J T X Lambda J Display style equals sum underscore J V underscore J carrot T X V underscore J carrot T X Lambda underscore J equals J V J T X two Lambda J Lambda N J V J T X two Display style equals sum underscore j v underscore j carrot t x carrot two lambda underscore j l e q lambda underscore n sum underscore j v underscore j carrot t x carrot two equals lambda n x t X display style equals lambda underscore n x caret t x, where we used Parseval's identity in the last line. Finally, we obtain that x t m 
x x t x lambda n display style frac x caret t m x x caret t x l e q lambda underscore n so the Rayleigh quotient is always less than lambda n display style lambda underscore n topic see also spectrum functional analysis resolvent formalism decomposition of spectrum functional analysis spectral radius spectrum of an operator spectral theorem self adjoint operator functions of operators operator theory sturm liouville theory integral equations fredholm theory Compact operators, isospectral operators, completeness Lax pairs Spectral geometry Spectral graph theory List of functional analysis topics Notes <laughs> <laughs>